Greetings, everyone. I am Lord Malvern, and welcome back to our Europa Universalis 4 multiplayer campaign, Minor Power Melee, with Torior Hello. and Artinex Games. Hello, everybody. I'm going to unpause while you do the recap. All right, so I, I lost a couple of battles against these uh, Pomeranian noble rebels. It, they, I mean, it was kind of intentional for me to, to send my army commanded by my weak heir over there. I, I want to get rid of this guy. Although he is he is like only a year younger than my, my current ruler, so he could die pretty quickly anyway. But uh, yeah, things things aren't going too well on, on that that front and I'm bleeding money. So yeah. <laughs> it's it's not it's not looking too good right now. Uh, well I'm currently annexing um, both of the Irish miners. Uh, I have about, uh, let's see, November 1467, so a little over a year left, but while that's going on, I have no diplomats, so I'm hoping that nothing super crazy happens or requires a diplomat in those uh, in the next year or so. Right, and I have uh, devised a cunning plan relying on my, uh, my alliance with France, but unfortunately, uh, France called me to war and I was waiting for a fl claim to fabricate. I was at 97%. I was about to declare war on Aragon uh, with France's help. They would accept. But unfortunately, I miscalculated the time and the pop-up went away and I automatically dishonored my wonderful alliance with France, which was a huge mistake again. So I'm making a lot of mistakes in this game. I will try another um, strategy that I have as an alternative. But I am not sure how the, this will fare. Anyway, you will see very soon if it works. Right. So this episode is going to be a little, yeah, a little bit of a slower start for me because I'm not going to be able to do anything <laughs> until the until the until the annexations finish. Uh, it is very lucky though for me that uh, England and France started another war. Um, especially as England was already at war with Burgundy. Anytime England's fighting a major power, it means they're not attacking me, which is good. And hopefully that will give me enough time to annex my vassals and maybe get an alliance with Castile uh, before they can do it again. I don't know. It's going to be tough. Castile is neutral towards me. And, and they are not willing to accept a royal marriage right now. We'll see. Hmm. Plus they are in an alliance. They're pretty far away. I'm an alliance too. So it might be tough. Uh, they just got called into the France French War. Are you accepting? No, they Castile just got Castile peaced out with Morocco, oh, okay. and then immediately got called into the French English Succession War. Um, so that'll that'll make things a little bit tricky for France, for sure. So Fran France will win this, right? Uh, they will. Um, they're fighting England, Castile, and Portugal, and they just have their vassals on their side. And you, so, probably. <laughs> no, I'm not allied with France. Uh, so how did you get uh, called into it? I'm not called into it. Oh, okay, I, I, I misheard. You said Castile was called into it. All right. Castile was called into yeah, it, okay. yeah. Everything makes uh, sense now. Um, so, do I want to rival England? Did they rival me? They have not rivaled me. Um, I don't really want to rival them until they rival me. So, maybe I could rival Brunswick? I don't really want to rival Brunswick. Seems kind of silly. Uh, let's Poland's see. Uh, literally sieged <laughs> down everything in Teutonic order now, so I'm I'm not going to declare war on them until they're done with their war with Poland. I think England, or, or you could declare war on them, leave one troop in every province, and when they peace out, they will not be able to build any troops, and you will have an instant win. Hmm. Well, I don't have enough troops to do that, unfortunately, but... Uh, you need, like, 10,000 men, right? One, two, three, four, five, yeah. six, seven, eight, nine. You need 9,000 men to do that. I think that's under your force limit. You probably could if you could build your army fast enough. Right. That's, that's a 
good question if I could build my army fast enough. <laughs> England pieced out with Burgundy. They took one province, which they'll probably lose to France. Oh, this French-English war is going to be interesting. France is not necessarily going to win this. They probably will. I give them a 75% chance of winning this. All right. Uh, I might be able to re-ally them. I've dropped from almost 200 relations to 37, but that might change. They'll call you into the war, almost certainly, if you re-ally them. I don't mind, really. I think they'll win. Or I could ally Castile, doesn't matter. Whoever accepts is my new ally, France, Castile or Austria. Alright, well my ruler died. I now have a 17-year-old ruler who's 5-0-0. Zero, zero. Um, which is good because my legitimacy is terrible, but it's bad because I'm hardly making any Diplo points now, which is very sad. I also don't have another heir again, although I'm only 17, so as long as I don't put him as a commander, I should be okay. I got lots of time to get a new heir, hopefully. Fingers crossed. And what's your uh, country's focus? Diplo. Okay. Yeah, it's Diplo. Um, if I die now, a noble from Vows von Habsburg succeeds to the throne. <laughs> that would be interesting. <laughs> that would be interesting. But I think if you if you got a personal union over Austria, we could safely end the campaign and say you win. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that would not happen. I don't think you can get a personal union over a country that's like, I don't know, maybe you can. They would almost certainly like rebel immediately, though, because they're so much more powerful. I mean, me. I don't think they can rebel while you have a truce, can they? No. So, but they wouldn't have a truce if I just got a personal. I would. I would never be able. I would never claim their throne. Currently, I'd never be able to beat them in a war. You know, ally France, ally Poland, things like that. Yeah, I suppose. And, uh, Although can... Poland's not particularly strong this game, since they don't have the Lithuania thing going on. Uh, yeah, but they have grown quite a lot. They've taken province, uh, a province from Bohemia, and they're about to take a lot from the Teutonic Order, so they might still be one of the major powers. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. I'm reluctant to ally with France as long as England has any French territory, because I don't want to get called into a war with England. Oh yeah, because they will just siege all of you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, even if France ultimately wins the war, I lose. <laughs> and it's perfect, because France, is, since as long as France is, as soon as I ally with France, France will stop guaranteeing my independence. But as long as I don't, and they're still guaranteeing my independence, I don't really need to ally with France, because if England attacks me directly, France will still jump in. I see. It would only be useful if I wanted to attack England, and I wanted France to join the war, but I'm not in a position to attack England. So this is going to be interesting to see what... Uh, the coalition makes Burgundy do when they peace out. Whoa. All right. So, uh, Poland ate a whole bunch of Teutonic Order. Oh, that's a lot. They did. They didn't eat Brand uh, Danzig, though, or Newmark. So there's still some, there's still some, some choice pickings. You'll yep. have to get, you'll have to be able to go up and, uh, siege Memel, though. I guess maybe you won't have to, but... It'd be a lot easier if you could. Wait a minute. Do I need a... Uh... I think Memel will let you form Prussia, right? Maybe not. I think you need, I need Ostprussen. Ostprussen. Uh, you need Ostprussen. Yeah, okay. I need Ostprussen. So I'm going to have to go to war with uh, Poland now as well. That's, that's no. great. <laughs> Perfect <laughs> moment. Do it. Oh, yeah, when they have uh, 18,000 men and they're... Uh, yeah, that would be... Well, this is a perfect time to go after Teutonic Order, though. Mm -hmm. If I had diplomats to send, which I... Maybe you could alleviate. vassalize them. How big are they? Oh, Teutonic Order? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that wouldn't be a bad idea. 
Uh, 23. You know, just they take 20, uh, 26 again. base stacks. I think you can fossilize up to 25 in a single war. I'm not sure. Well, I'd probably take Newmark and Danzig from them. Uh, let's see here. I just need to go ahead and uh, get a diplomat ready to pounce here. Oh, Austria, Brunswick, and Sweden will come in. And, uh, by the way, they, they lost Mecklenburg as an ally, so they're all on their own. <laughs> all right. So that should make them pretty easy to get. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to do reconquest here. I'm not going to even feed them to... Are you going to call Austria in? Yeah, uh, Austria has uh, should be joining in. Yep. Uh, you get a bonus to trust, I think. Is, is it? Is it so? Do you get a relations bonus? Hmm. Do you get a for relations? Calling, yeah. For for calling in an ally. Mm hmm. Uh, I don't think you get a relations bonus for calling in an ally, but I think you do if you fight to the end with an ally, even if you're the war leader. I did get a plus one uh, bonus honored alliance, but I think that's from, from the previous war, actually, now that I think about it. Yeah, I mean, you obviously get a bonus for fighting in the same war, as long as the war lasts. And if you don't separate peace, if they don't separate peace, you'll get a bonus for um, fought to the end. And I think fought to the end gives you a trust boast as well, but I'm not 100% sure on that. You mainly get trust boost from honoring their alliances when they call you in. That's the main way you get trust. Oh. Okay, I see. Teutonic Warrior completely wiped out my little navy. Oh, what a shame. And I am almost ready to ally Austria. Almost. I wonder, who would you guys choose if you had, if you could choose Austria, France, or Castile, who would you choose? Uh, for an ally, mm -hmm. Austria, France, or Castile. I would generally uh, choose Austria, especially as Tuscany. But yeah, but uh, the Burgundian inheritance hasn't triggered, so they're um, significantly I think it weaker. will. I think it will. Oh yeah, because but, Burgundy is sieged. But, but they, uh, yeah. Even though they're significantly weaker, they're still a match for France. And they're much more likely to actually help you out. Ah, a revolt. Very nice. <laughs> All right, we dropped the speed Wait. one because Lord Melbourne was lagging a little bit. Yeah. So we'll give it a month or so, and then we'll move back up, hopefully. Right. How is France doing on its war? 31, winning. They have uh, occupied one of England's provinces. One war score. Uh, I should be doing something with this diplomat. Hmm. Well, <sighs> hopefully, it doesn't look like I'll be able to ally with Castile, but hopefully, if their relations are with me are high enough. Do you know how high they have to be before they'll be reluctant to start joining in wars against you? Is it over a hundred? I'm just I don't guessing. Know. Yeah, hopefully it is over 100. I should be able to keep my relations with Castile over 100. Um, if they, if England can't call Castile into a war against me, I feel much better about my position. I'm getting 11 diplomatic power a month. Focus plus Republic. Nice. That's awesome. I'm getting... Five and it's my focus. I'm getting all of two military power a month. I don't, not over on generals, am I? No. <laughs> it's gonna be. I'm gonna be a little behind in tech this game. It looks like. Wait a minute. I thought you were able to to walk through provinces that uh, your enemy and allies have uh, military access now. Your enemy, yes. Your allies, mm, probably. I don't know. Yeah, because it's it's. Uh, yeah, well, I haven't actually tried because I'm sieging a province, but 
the the HUD's actually giving me a red X for for uh, Kolm, which is a province in Poland that uh, the Teutonic Order has decided to sit on. That is odd. Yeah, seems like you should have access through that if the Teutonic Order does. Why is it called Kolm? It used to be called Helmuno. Hmm. No, never mind. Uh, I think it's because Poland took it. But it got renamed. Um, Helmuno is the Polish name for it, so maybe it starts as a Teutonic province, but it's uh, Helmuno is uh, its Polish name, so I'm not sure. Maybe because Poland lost its core uh, when. Uh, uh, maybe maybe Teutonic Order renounced their core. Uh, never mind. It's not important. Okay. So I got one more year before my truce with Burgundy expires. I'm hoping that um, Onsbach will peace out with them before that. And all my plans relied on France being my ally, so now, uh, now I am recalculating uh, very intensely and, and looking for targets. I'm trying to decide whether or not to buy the next admin tech level. What do I get? I get constables and temples. Seems pretty good, but am I going to want the points for coring? Actually, I'm making quite a few admin points. It's the one thing my ruler is good for. I think I will buy it. Will you take exploration as your first or second idea group? Uh, well, I might get to the point, because I'm making so many more admin points than anything else. Uh, I don't know what admin idea group would I want first. I guess humanism? But I'm unlikely to do that. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Probably still first. But that's the nice thing about, you know, I haven't taken an, an idea group yet, so I'm in, I don't have to commit. But probably still, I'll still take it first. Should we go up to speed two already? Oh, yes. Let's do it. Yeah. I forgot we were on speed one. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me. It's like, wow, there's really nothing going on, is there? <laughs> So I don't remember if I mentioned this or not, but I um, I decided after uh, some careful deliberation, I'm gonna t I took uh, aristocratic ideas instead of aristocratic. Um, yeah, I know I was talking about uh, taking innovative ideas, but the uh, I, I I just I just like the uh, the the bonuses the other bonuses that you get from aristocratic like uh, the the plus one vassal and the the hostile core creation on us seems like a very uh, very good one. I mean, to, hostel to... co-creation is good for multiplayer. We won't want to take your land. <laughs> but um, aristocratic is uh, not a traditional pick for Brandenburg because your country's ideas focus so strongly on infantry, and aristocratic focuses on cavalry. Yeah. Well, I'm not a very traditional guy, so <laughs> it is it is a military idea group, and you have military points coming out of your ears. So, yeah, I suppose. <laughs> oh, is it the is it this uh, idea group the one that gives you military technology discount? Uh, yes, yes, it does. Because I can't check because I have plutocratic instead. Oh yeah, yeah, because you're a republic, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> My war exhaustion is. Down to three point two. <laughs> you can tell how big it was before we started. Oh, my king died. Pity. Uh, now you have to start all over again. Yes. He was doing so well. Two five two. Well, he, he probably won't be remembered very well in the Tuscan traditions, though. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, this uh, disastrous war was started by his predecessor. It was my second ruler already. 
but yeah, slowly, yeah. slowly getting back relations. Almost ready to ally Venice and Austria. Actually, ready to ally Venice and Austria. Venice and Austria. Then what, go after Ferrara, maybe? Mm, yes, though I still have a truce. All right, so that was the uh, that was the timer. You guys ready? Uh, yeah. yeah. I've just All done. Right. I have just formed three alliances. So yeah, definitely. Oh, my pr my truce with Burgundy just expired. That's interesting. Uh, all right, Lord Malvern, it's all you. Okay, well, thank you for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to click on the like button as it does help out. And of course, please subscribe to future updates and check out everyone else's perspective. And as always, I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye. Bye-bye.